the trades, it's just gotten more difficult over the years to hire people, mechanics and electricians both. And, you know, rather than try to run short or find people from elsewhere, we just, we've got people that are very talented here at MSD, so we're trying to develop their skills and anybody that's interested. And um, it's just, it's a great opportunity for anybody who has a desire to be in the trades. A lot of the schools have done away with uh, shop or any, any kind of technical classes. You know, there's just nobody to fill these jobs. And, and personally, I feel like these are going to be the doctor and lawyer jobs of tomorrow because the pay is going to keep going up and the demand is it's not getting any less. Of course, you know, it's not all about the money, but a little bit, a little bit, you know. Everybody needs maintenance, so it's, if you learn it, you've got a job for life. I jumped on the opportunity because this was a rare opportunity and this was a way to grow my skills. I was a laborer. I felt like it was an opportunity, you know, to further my career. I feel, I feel great. Uh, this opportunity has given me um, confidence in myself. They had, they got everything situated, posted it like any other job. I applied for it, I interviewed for it. Yeah, the apprenticeship program, you have to apply for it same as you any other position at MSD and you go through an interview process and we select the candidates out of there who we think will do the best. There's no experience needed, you just need a desire to, to be in the program. Um, it's set up really for somebody who has no mechanical experience at all. No, I didn't have any um, previous maintenance experience. None whatsoever. And I, and I said that during my interview and they said that's what it's before. That's, this is what it's for for people with no experience at all. If you get if you do get selected for the program, you are in that is your job. Each apprentice is assigned to a journeyman and they work whatever job that journeyman is assigned to that day, they work with them day in, day out. You're really gonna learn. I mean, that's all it is. I mean, you're gonna learn, they're gonna teach you what you need to know. I have gained uh, mechanical skills as far as thinking, uh, as far as looking at something and troubleshooting it and see why it's not working, to see to try to fix it. There's a classroom portion that's done after hours on their own time. Once they are selected for the program, you know, they get enrolled to uh, JCTC. It's a balance and we go to school, t you know, twice a week and we work a full day every day. It was a little challenging at first because I'm, I'm, I'm 35 years old, so I've been out of school and school environment for a little while, so it was, a, it was an adjustment, but MSD, they make it a little easy for you. You know, they offer, if you need it, like tutoring and stuff like that. Uh, we're willing to help each other. Um, if you have any questions, the teacher, uh, the other apprentices, uh, there's all kind of resources. I got great instructors helping me out, you know, you know, teaching me along the way. I learned a lot of good things from them. I mean, it's a lot of good instructors here. I'm learning something that I've never, um, learned before and it's making me think you know mechanically inclined as far as how does something work um, if it's broken um, can I fix it yeah, troubleshooting yeah, within my work life and personal life so far so good I'm coming along real good once you get out of the program you'll have an associate's degree with no no college debt I mean, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for anybody that's got any interest in the program. Your title jumps from mechanic apprentice, you jump all the way to a mechanic two, you skip one, uh, you receive a journeyman card. It, the apprenticeship program is four years, it's, and every six months they rotate through each region, uh, right? So we'll have six months you'll be in collections, six months you'll go to treatment, more, more swarming, uh, six months you'll go to Blood wall, and then you'll start the rotation around again. You learn, you're going to learn something different at each one, which in the end will, will be good for you because it really wouldn't matter where you place that after. You already know what to do. You can kind of hit the ground running. Um, you have to be dedicated, and you've got to be able to learn. You're going to have to adapt to different people, uh, different scenarios. I would recommend anybody that has any interest in the mechanical field at all apply for it. Um, it like I said, it's it's phenomenal opportunity for anybody. My advice is 
take this opportunity and learn as much as you can, it's especially women, because there's not a lot of women um, in the mechanical maintenance trade. And this is a fun job, and this is a fun trade to learn. Yeah, of course, people should do it. It's, I mean, it's a real, like I said it over and over, it's a real good opportunity for somebody who wants to learn and just put in the work 